So let that be known, LCS. <laughs> These guys don't necessarily like Zyra that much as it falls completely through the draft. Yeah. Darduk chasing Anori out of his jungle, pops the ghost. That's going to immediately prompt him to leave. Slow lands in, though. Darduk still chasing. Another Q lands in. Anori does have his flash, but when is he going to use it? There it is. Very nicely done. Gets up from under Ole's Q as well. Well, Darduk again. Blast cones over, finds Anori. Oh! Oh! Uh -oh. That one went to Dardock and he's caught. No stun's gonna land, but Ole's gonna chase him down. Adrian here, fends him off with the bubble. Oh, oh good to in there as well. There's the stun in him. First blood to Immortal's mid laner. Actually, first item by his dump for those mid laners, but we'll hold on to that as Dardock back down to the bottom side. Looking for Adrian as his kill. There's the flash out from Nami. Exhaust is ready, but Dardock just gonna force them back. Arrow slowed up as Cody's stun. Almost gets himself sniped. Arrow, not quite enough mana for another Q, I don't think. Push up and get the wave clear. Looks like they want to go for play. Found Adrian. There's Dardock down as well. Ulti not quite there. Lands actually not to Dardock, but Adrian's going to get blown up here. The kill over to Dardock. It's Pope Elta solo oh. killed in that mid lane. And he lost both summoner spells. What happened with Pope Belter there? Doesn't even get Ryu's Hex Drinker. Anori wanted to come in to the, for the assist, but was not able to get there. So Mortal's bot lane actually works, but it's Pope Belter. We're gonna have to get a replay on that kill. This also stops him from being able to get Baron, so he just gets the stun and goes for an all-in, but the exhaust hits right as he's ulting. Ryu also had the backup of the Hex Drinker, so just misjudging his damage pretty substantially there, and also had used all of his peel by stunning Ryu in the first place. I mean, the gold is not showing much. Oh dear, no bar to help him. Cody's not caught out, that's an easy kill. Very nice brush snipe as all eight. He's gonna try and land something up on a Ryu. Oh, he cuts back around the tower, but the Cinder ulti gonna try and move in for a Dardock. Just dives in, there's a stun, and that's gonna be a kill. Anori, though, gonna take Ole out for the trade. Not quite there in time to say Mizig. He's joined in as well with the teleport, but I think Pobelter and Dardock have gotten themselves out. Yeah, it's gonna be a little interesting, but they don't want to tango with a 3v2. The package again for Ryu. Didn't get too much use out of it before, but might get much right better this time. Right into the enemy jungle with it. Dardock looks for the red buff, doesn't get it. Could smite actually from Dardock, secures it. Pobelter roaming up, that means Ryu has to leave. But good pressure applied. He was looking for top lane. Yep. Flame smartly backed off. But Ryu starting to leave this lane's bad news for Immortals. It's bad too. Pobelter are gonna get chunked. Wave is gonna hit him. There's the ball. Oh, follow up it. and Ryu with a snipe. And the support gank comes in huge for Adrian. Now Ole, all out on his own. Isolated indeed versus the Kha'Zix. And Ori gonna get some vision and realize he doesn't want to chase into unknown territory. But so the fact that he's had not as good a start and the CFC is even significantly different means that Ryu's getting all in the mid lane. Zigdo gonna protect him. Dardo looking to dive in, but Inori's here. They might turn around. The last axe is not enough. Oh. And Zig is just tanking everything. And it does feel like P1 kind of know they want to take this mid out of turret if possible. Adrian chased down by Dardock, though. Could she support do not favor well? Arrow stunned as well, actually, by Ole, but no follow up there as the TP is gonna come in from P1. Inori gonna look to make it happen again. Now the snipes move in. Spikes are good, but a good exhaust. It's gonna be the snipe. Cody's son able to collect one, but Immortal's health looking a little low. They're gonna go for it. Dar Darduk has ultimate. Yeah, they're going in. Adrian's like, there no, no, comes. no. And now Darduk's like, yeah, that doesn't work on me. I'm all out. Ryu's still here, though. Ole actually gonna get all in. They might trade back for support. Oh, Ryu here we go. Down. Let's take Ole with him, but Pobelta's in. Ultimate out. Is that Minori gonna join the fray? Pops Pobelta. Mmm, those are the ones that hurt when the fight gets decided by missed skill shots. Right there. Looked like to me, Paul Belter missed pretty much everything, and Ryu gets out alive. Phoenix One might just look to steamroll in for fights. He's another pick. In fact, Paul Belter is oh. far too far forward. Oh, but can he just walk away? <laughs> Again. Bard? Oh, he's like, all right, I got you, don't worry. And now Mortals might even go for Man. a play in the Drake pit. Yeah, well, they gotta be careful, because it's, it's setting up a 5v5. They're really hoping to get a pick on a squishy. No, that's not a squishy. That might be, though, Ryu. Still took half his health. Satchel turned his ass. Stuns him against the wall. Great double stun, actually, from bottom flame. Snipes one off as Zig goes down. P1 going to be playing 4v5. But, yep, they have the Zigs as well. He might want to try and get that turn in execute range. Can't quite do it. And now they have to be a little fearful of the counter attack. Oh, Ole going to go down to Ryu again. He's had Bud for breakfast today. Well, Ryu, four kills still in this one. They have no options other than face check or give up the Baron, except for that part ultimate. Nice ult there from Ole, but P1 can pull away pretty safely. Zeke in the front side, gonna tank up the majority of that damage. And Flame is still pushing, but P1 is gonna force this fight. Yeah, the longer they're on Baron without killing it, though, the more poke they will take from the Baron. 
So Mortal's hoping to find a win despite Will Phoenix 1 PO for it. Oh, Ryu actually getting chased in by Flame P1. That's looking a little scattered. In fact, the Nori's forced to leap out of the way. Redemption gonna heal them up very nicely. Well, P1 might be looking for a pick on the Cody's son here. Oh, Dardo again. in the area as well. Now going from again. again. They've just found up. Cody's son gonna get isolated and torn apart by the Kha'Zix. Yeah, and they somehow just oh through all the wards. Hi, Ryu. Dardo pops his ulti. Good use of the package effort from Ryu to poke them down. P1 on the siege or potentially the Baron play. Yeah, because Cody's son being down and having no Ziggs ult even when he revives will make it a little bit easier. But we're still pretty early on into the game, so Phoenix One still may be thinking about the pick. Everyone's in the Baron pit. Jace Q is down as well. Dark as well, and when they also don't have base. a Bardolph for another few seconds. Yeah, this is going to be tight. Ole needs to go back in for it, but Baron looks to already be down. Decisive play. Oh, that looks close. Ryu secures it for his team, though. It's going to be all right. Well, Immortals are, I think, trying to run it down mid and get pressure going there, but Ryu more than happy to get a kill. Dardock forced to ult again, though. And Ghost. Tidal Wave's gonna chase down, doesn't hit anyone, but it's gonna zone the rest of Immortals away, and Ryu is still shoving Poke towards the Squishies. Gonna cut off this lane and make sure it pushes in their favor. And that is just a death sentence for Dardock, not having Ultimate or Ghost on the Olaf. He is pretty much unable to participate in a 5v5 team fight without those abilities, so... Phoenix One just start right up, and if they're tanking properly, if Zig would get in the pit and tank that Baron for him, they'd be able to peel for fight much more easily, but they're just gonna burst it down. Adrian's got a lot of healing, and they've got plenty of damage, so P1 is happy to take it without their tank. So they can get bursted down by Ryu if they walk into these fights. They, they have to try at some point, though, to get the fight. And they just cut them off here. That turret's gonna melt. Edge of Knife from Arrow is gonna keep him alive from Pobelter, and this inhibitor should fall pretty quickly. Immortal is not gonna look to defend this one, I don't think. And P1 able to take it down. Zig gets stunned, but that's not the target they want. And immediate pink top lane for Phoenix One. Immortal loses the poke game, the sustain game, the team fight game, and the initiation game because they pick laning. Oh, well, maybe the whole game as well. Oh, his battle is gonna go wide. And that's just gonna keep the siege going for Phoenix One. Zig tanking everything he can. Arrow almost takes out the bard. We're not able to get that snipe down. That's gonna force them back to help us. Blinking a little lower, and Phoenix One are closing in for the kill. They really are. Second and hip down. Immortals would have to go all out, but they've already expended Bard Ultimate to little effectiveness. Phoenix One could even just walk for the third inhibitor and dare Immortals to fight them because they don't have a clean way of initiating. Just feels too easy. Phoenix One have the next wave prepped up as well. It's just all so clean today. And this turret's going to melt. The Cody Sun ulti isn't going to clean things out. And Zig is going to get aggressive on the Dardock. Tidal waves in. Anori, we're going to try and get a poke down as Cody Sun actually got killed by the Kha'Zix. Healing's gonna come through, and is gonna fall down, and it's just disaster for Immortals. Yeah, Zig standing in front. Ryu nearly gets bursted down, but he's fine. He'll be sustaining up, and Phoenix One is trying to walk this one in. Big unkillable, huge bubble for Adrian after Arrow's ultimate, and now Inori goes in for the kill. Leaps forward, gets exhausted, and shuts down by Flame. So it's gonna look a, look a little awkward on camera, but Phoenix One looking to still win, still win this one. Yeah, it's Dardock and Flame. Flame does do a bunch of damage, so three inhibitors down. They might have to wait. Ryu went back, so can't quite end it, but Zig looking kind of unkillable. As He's I got a package. That. He might be trying to fly in. Oh, he takes him down. There's Ryu straight to the back towards Dark. No, he wants Flame instead. Gonna look for the big 1v1. Woo! And Jace looking to win it. Flame with the outplay shuts it all down. And now Dardock gonna chase towards Adrian. Throws an axe up mid suspension. That's kind of cute. But Adrian is uh, he's having some trouble. That axe goes a little oh, short. Oh my. Knockup's good. Arrow gonna keep firing and hit. And now P1 are kind of trapped. Blast is gonna get yep. Arrow to safety, maybe. Things just got a little peculiar. Uh, I feel like the game is still pretty much in the hands of Phoenix One, but Flame trying to single-handedly keep him in this as he had a super solid 1v1 outplay on Ryu right there. But there's like 10,000 health in each minion wave in each lane because multiple super minions are spawning in each lane once you have three inhibitors down. So it just takes a really long time for Immortals to clear it. For Phoenix yeah, they're going to try and fight him. I mean, they have I think. To. Good little trap. But Immortals have no choices left, really. And Zeke just doesn't care. Maybe he cares a little more now. <laughs> oh, Ole get finds Adrian. through. That's good. Arrow is actually one of the all targets. Right. Good flash out from Arrow. Adrian going to get stunned up. He's going to try and run away from it. Dada goes all in for the kill in the back line. And Ori stunned in by Pobelta, but no one dead just yet. Dada almost going down. Yeah, and a lot of Ziggs and Cinder damage did land, pushing Zig back. Zig could recall, heal up, and then teleport on a minion to get back in here at full health. I think that's what we're going to see. There's literally nothing left but the Nexus for Immortals to fight for, but they are going to have to go in for it. P1. Gonna try and close it out. Arrow's taking poke on the other end, but Zig 
He's just waiting for the minions. All he gets chunked. He's almost dead. And Phoenix One just gonna lurch forward and try and take this down. Immortals backed into a corner, trying to defend the Nexus, but it's already going down low. Phoenix One is gonna leap forward. Flame's gonna go down. The shutdown for Ryu, and there's the sweep for Phoenix One.